My name's Sally Butler. I'm a lecturer in art history at the University of Queensland. Uh, I wrote the first book on the artists featured in this exhibition. It was called Our Way, Contemporary Aboriginal Art from Lockhart River. Um, it was about the foundations of one of the most unique art movements in Australia an art movement about a new generation of Aboriginal artists who are focused on one life, two worlds, living in their Aboriginal life and in their non-Aboriginal life. And it's a very contemporary vision. The book we're working on now and the title of the exhibition that you've come to see is Which Way? And it's very much about the many directions, almost unseen directions, that their art has taken them and continues to take them. This exhibition draws on where they've been in their, the 15 years since the first book. It looks at their collaborations and their connectivity, what they've learnt from public art commissions, from doing commissions for the legal, um, health and education sectors, and the collaborations that they've done with other artists and with dealers. The whole exhibition is very much about connectivity, as Fiona Arminio's work really shows us. The body of work in this exhibition brings a new level of colour and conceptual duality of one life, two worlds. The catalogue shows the gift of this art to Australia, how it brings a presence of vibrancy and relevance and dynamism of Aboriginal life in today. These artworks own a space. They don't rest lightly on a wall, they lift it. They make you feel its energy. And it's symbolic of the increasing presence of Aboriginal life in an Australian way of life. We're seeing its new dimensions, its new styles, its understanding of individualism connected to deep cultural heritage and traditions. Lockhart River art and the art of these particular artists in this exhibition have been showing the way for that for quite some time, but they've increasingly been doing it in a collaborative way. And these artworks show us the results of their working and their connectivity with the rest of the world. Samantha Hobson, has always been a master colourist and expressionist, and she makes a new claim on owning spaces in the works that you see here. Fiona Arminio has always been about connectivity between generations, families, communities, ancestors. But there's a new understanding in her works now in terms of how this connectivity is something to be learnt by the broader community at large. Connecting energy from the land is about a new form of environmental relationships and sustainability. Rosella Namek's work, particularly the Carpe and Kuyan series of paintings and sculptures, again draws on deep Aboriginal traditions of moieties. Moieties establish who you are in a community. But I particularly love the work Selfie by the water. Because what Rosella is showing us in this work is how the moiety is 
an image of a sense of self in a community, which is exactly how we understand a selfie today. She makes that connection between her Aboriginal heritage and her modern life and selfie image making. Party House is another great example. That's a quite traditional symbolism um, of Aboriginal family life. But that kick of colour talks about the modern concept of partying and young, youthful exuberation. This artwork has been um, at the forefront of Australia's Australian audiences notice for quite some time, but it's yet to really gain an understanding of its true significance. Because what it shows us is that these artworks aren't just about Aboriginality, they're about how Aboriginality is a part of all of us, of Australian life. And we're only just starting to really get it, which is, I think, pretty damn exciting. Thank you.